Sempre Vieta di Piata. Welcome back guys to the Minecraft Military Force. Today we're going to be building the MTLB. This is a Soviet multi-purpose amphibious tracked armored fighting vehicle in use since the 1970s. We have four versions here and they have been seen in action in the Russo-Ukrainian War. So first one is the regular MTLB. This is an armored personnel carrier, an APC, and it has like the Russian uh, white markings all around it. And it was actually quite hard to come up with design because in 1.5 to 1 scale, it is four blocks wide. So it's very hard since there's like two windows here. And if I just put like a slab that will just like connect each other and then it'll look like a cyclops. And if I put it on the outside, it's too far. So actually Mikhail Paka helped come up with design. Uh, so basically what he did, he actually added like these armor stands. So if you look on the inside, there are armor stands. And since we're on Fox shot, you know, they don't fall to the ground. Uh, but we are going to make it vanilla friendly and also another tricky part was like having this little hatch here So it kind of sticks out like that and uh, here are the wheels on size using treads um, lights and uh, Yeah, that's pretty much it now. We also have this version here This is actually the 9k 35 Strela 10 and its native reporting name is sa 13 gopher But I think Strela 10 sounds a lot cooler um, Here's what it looks like it's used on both sides of the Russo-Ukrainian war in the beginning of the war, there was like one of these Strela 10s, they're like wrecking havoc in Kiev, just running around and stuff like that. But uh, we don't know who actually owns that one. In both versions, they have like this white marking. You can either write number here or you can write, you know, the Russian markings like this. But I think I'll just leave it like this. So this is actually a mobile short range surface to air missile system, uh, visually aimed with a window. So this part over here is where the window is, which I didn't really realize until today. It's primarily used against low flying targets like helicopters. Then next over here, we're going into like the crazy territory. These are not really common. Well, these are like factory produced. These are like modifications, conversions, which are a little bit ghetto. So here we have the Russian ship anti-aircraft gun turret. It's a 25 millimeter and it's a 2M-3. And yeah, they just mounted it on the back of the MTLB, kind of weird looking, but it is pretty unique and they actually made uh, quite a lot of these, I'm not sure. There is a picture on the internet with like them loading on a train, so there's not just one of them. And then right here, this is actually Ukrainian, this is the MTLB-12. And Ukrainian soldiers, they modified an MTLB to put an MT-12 uh, Rapira 100mm anti-tank gun mounted on the top and they have opened up the roof here in the back. So in the video they watched, they said it was built from captured Russian equipment. Um, but yeah, this is an infield battle modification. Not a lot of these were made, so it's just maybe there's only one or two of them. There's like different varieties. They're kind of like a custom design, so uh, they're all gonna look a little bit different. Uh, but also additional thing that you can add to this one is you can put a travel lock in here just to hold the gun in place. While in transport mode, so while it's moving, you can take that off. And um, yeah, it has a pretty cool looking gun here, an antenna. And the back's opened up open area. And they also have like the stabilizer here. Although there are some versions of this, they look a little different. They have like a wall here and there is no stabilizers. But yeah, that's all four of the MTLBs. All right, so for this tutorial, I'm just gonna be showing you how to make the regular MTLB. And then I'll convert it later if you wanna make a Strela 10. And if you want to make the other wacky versions of it, that's up to you as well. Although I'll just show you what it looks like just so you can build it by hand. It's not that complicated. But yeah, let's get started on the MTLB. So first off, let's take some materials. So we'll take dark prismarine stairs and slab, cobble, deep slate slab, stairs, dark oak button, a green terracotta, polished diorite slab, uh, a worked fence gate. And um, yeah, let's get started here. Uh, first off, we'll add in dark prismarine slabs, two blocks wide, hovering above the ground. To the side, we'll add in cobble deep slate slab. And then we'll add in six upside down cobble deep slate stairs. Side, same thing. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then another upside down that's going to be cornered here at the back. Then we'll add in dark prismarine slabs, two blocks wide there. And then we'll make it go all the way across to the front. Next, we'll add in dark prismarine stairs uh, facing outside, both sides, and then upside down three blocks long, and then a polished diorite slab, a green terracotta on the inside, two blocks long, polished diorite slab, and do the same thing on the other side. 
same way like that. Alright, and then we'll go to the back part. We'll add in dark bruce and green stairs all the way so it goes one block past the treads like this. Other side, same thing. And the inside we'll add in two green terracottas on diagonal. And then on top of this, two blocks wide, dark bruce and green slash, make this go all the way to the back. Then we'll add in a polished diorite slab here. And then we'll add in sea pickles in the back corners. A warped sign like this. Or a fence gate underneath. Two blocks wide, warped trap doors like that. And the sides of the wheels, dark oak buttons cross. Just like this. Alright, and then we'll add in this warped trap door. I'm going to add it one in front of the flush diorite slab and other side same thing like that and then on this side there's going to be this deep slate tile slab two blocks long like that then we'll add in dark burst marine slab right here all right so this is the part of the tutorial it's going to be a little bit tricky because we need to build these things right here uh, they're quite hard to build all right so next up let's go over here Punch in two blocks wide, add in two blocks wide daylight detectors, add in the armor stand, add a wither skeleton skull on top, and then we'll add in um, this shucker box and we just want to have it so it's moved up towards the front. So move it up like that. And we also want another one so it moves up to side. Just like that. And then we want to punch in a hole here, add another daylight detector, armor stand here, where there's skeleton skull, and a shucker box, move that like that. Add another one, move that up towards the front. And we'll need one more, move it up towards the front. So now that we have these two things in place, uh, we'll just need a piston to move the blocks inside of it. So special shout out to Waldick, he just told me um, how to do it from above. I was like, how do I get this to work exactly? Um, so yeah, I'm just placing a ton of pistons right now. Sorry about that. Probably looks complicated. Why is it not working? Okay, so once we have the, these two pistons like that, we'll need to have dark prismarine slab and we want to have it like a gap between like this. I'm going to add levers on top of it and we just want to push them down like that. Probably moved up both so you don't need two levers. So now we have uh, these nice little windows just like that. And then we'll add on this side, dark prismarine green stairs back to back like that. Then here in the front, we can add in any other block like that. And then we'll need our moss carpet, two blocks wide like so. Then upside down, two dark prismarine green stairs like this. And then a warp fence gate opened up towards the nose, both sides like that. And then we'll add in our warp trap doors all along the sides, um, just like this. All right, so that's how you make the MTLB. Now let's convert it to the Strela 10. So to make the Strela 10, we're just gonna remove this thing from the side, place the stairs instead, just like that. And then we're gonna uh, punch in three blocks wide here in the middle, add in a polished diorite slab, dark prismarine slabs to the sides of it. Other side, we'll do the same thing. And we'll also get rid of this little thing here, a dark prismarine slab. And then we'll add in a chain, two blocks tall, and an iron bar on top. Then to the back, we'll uh, delete this thing. But if you want it, you, I guess you can leave it, but I just left it like that. Then we'll go right over here, punch in two blocks wide here, and two by two. Add in a green terracotta, break stained glass in front, dark prismarine stairs to the side, and with a corner of the front part up like that. Then we'll add in upside down, back to back, dark Caprice marine stairs like so. Then we're gonna add in a warp sign right here. Zombie head on the top. Warp fence gate in the back, open that up. And then um, dark Caprice marine slabs, make it four blocks long on both sides. Then on this side, we'll add in a warp trap door, and then we'll add in warp buttons, so there's two here, and then one on the other side. And yeah, that's pretty much it on how to make the Strela 10 in Minecraft. 
the both versions of the MCLB. I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do, hit the like button down below, check out our Discord server, leave a comment, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Das Vadanya!